Hey guys, it's Spencer Holmberg here. I just bought this Smart Standard 36 by 84, or is it 84 by 36 inch door for my closet. It's gonna be a sliding barn door. Yeah, I know it's a uh, raw wood, just I believe it's spruce, but I'll have to let you know later. And I will be staining it with this wonderful smoke gray wood stain. Same color as the other wood in my bedroom. And uh, in a later video, you'll be seeing me do that with my wife's store. So now let's get to the unboxing. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a gorgeous wood, first of all. How neat is that? Let's see if you can get a nice, nice look at it. It's got the cutouts already. By the way, to anyone who actually knows what the terminology is for this, I'm sorry. Don't oh, hate me. I'm learning. All right. Well, there's piece number one. that show called Alone that's on Netflix. And on that show, this, uh, I believe it's, well, it's, this season isn't on Netflix, but I think it's season two or three, probably season three that this Spaniard guy built a, uh, built an amazing canoe, really, really lightweight, and just did a whole lot of incredible stuff with it, and it makes me want to get crafty. Which is partially why I decided to buy a door that I can assemble. I don't know, it just feels good to put work into something and have it turn out. I guess the table is too short for how long the door is, so I have to set up a, well I don't have a second table, so I have to set something up that's just the right height, so uh, sorry if this takes a second. <laughs> I've got to stick these three and a half inch screws into, uh, well, two in the top. I think it's, yeah, two in the bottom on either side. So four in the top, four in the bottom, and then one in the middle on either side. Let's, like I said a second ago, let's hope it comes out straight. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
So I'm noticing that it's a little out of square. I think I'm gonna have to take it apart a little, or at least loosen these screws and the screws up enough so that it will come out straight. Looks like they gave us a whole bunch of these tiny little, they look like three quarter inch screws. They're just a whole bunch of tiny ones. I'm gonna be putting them all down the, the sides of these diagonal wood panels or wood slats. What do you call them? Wood beams? That's it. I'm a carpenter. I've just never had a barn door before. I've, oh, there's my, there's my puppy, Oliver. All right, well now I get to flip the door over. It's time to whip out the little guy, little hammer. I love when I get to use this because these little guys, these little, uh, what do you call them? Dowels? No, these aren't dowels. I don't know what anything's called. I'm gonna have to learn vocabulary again, but this time in English. Okay, so I'm gonna have to learn what these are called and in the meantime, I'm just going to pop these in to cover up all the holes where I, uh, where I drilled into it. I get to whip out $3 saw. At least I think it was $3. Maybe I got it from the dollar store. I don't know, but since that piece is not coming off, and its only function is to cover up the wooden hole, I'm gonna cut it off with something that's really overkill. Honestly, I hope this rag works. It's probably not going to. I think you need a cloth, but I don't have a cloth, so I'm gonna try and make it work. And if it turns out terrible, that sucks for me, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Wait a second, I do have a brush. What do you know? The staining begins now. Yeah. 
There we go. It's a lot clearer. All right, well, I'm gonna be doing this with the, uh, with the rack. decided to switch to the brush because the foam it, it doesn't do well so I'm switching to the brush and I'm just gonna nail these corners out and finish up It is finished, though. Finished with the door, with the exception of the hardware, which uh, the door knob, I don't know if it's going vertical or horizontal here, but uh, this will be the side that is showing. Here's the top of the door, here's the bottom of the door, and uh, I can't wait to put it up. 